I was just reading up and I saw this number uh, that Kubernetes market value, I don't know what that means, but market value is supposed to go to 9.7 uh, billion dollars uh, by 2031 at a CAGR of 23%. I didn't understand that, but what I understand is that if you look at the cloud hyperscaler revenues, they continue to grow at double digits every year. It's still very high growth, right? And that will continue to drive the market forward. Um, uh, I think Aparna already covered uh, the two tech trends that we are covering, right? Aparna covered one, which was edge, and uh, uh, you know, as 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 uh, companies try to go for real-time data processing, income in-device computing, right? Uh, that will become more and more important. So, how does Kubernetes work there? And the second part is, of course, AI, right? And uh, we all feel that uh, you know, Gen AI will lead to job losses. I feel something different. If Gen AI says that it will be able to do 30% more, make you more productive, that means you'll have to increase your workload. So you will actually be doing 30% more work. That means your development, application development workload is going to double in the next three to four years. Um, uh, and if that is going to happen, that means uh, more containerization, right? 90% of whatever is being developed will be required for, uh, for containerization, and that's where you guys come in. Um, at the same time, uh, if you see all these uh, uh, cloud uh, data center companies, right? And we look at AWS, uh, you know, uh, um, you know, and uh, Azure and Google Cloud. They've invested about 200 billion dollars in new data center capacity, uh, which is just to accommodate this additional, uh, you know, enterprise apps that will be there, which will be containerized. Are any, is anybody, any of your clients, budgeting headcount for this? None of them are budgeting headcount for this, right? So what I'm saying is that we are going into a world where agentic AI will be there. So basically, how do you work with AI agents along with developers? I think that will be the way forward because nobody will budget headcount, but your workload will go up. So I think that's something that you have to prepare for. And by the way, today's news is that Elon Musk raised another $6 billion for his uh, uh, you know, supercomputer that he's building. And he raised it at $46 billion valuation. Six months back, it was valued at $18 billion. So all this investment is going in, so it's very real and it's not very far away.